Here with the still undefeated junior middleweight Glenn Tapia. The uh, newly uh, head shaven Glenn Tapia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is my first interview with someone with a broken jaw, Glenn. First Hazard. interview with my haircut too. And, and, and your haircut yeah, yeah, too. So. so so now now we're going to uh, call some modeling agencies and everything <laughs> now. How's everything going? Your jaw is broken. Uh, how's everything been, you know, I'm living hungry. with that? I'm hungry all the time. But I'm good. I'm good. I've been keeping up with the um, weight. I've been... I'm keeping um, up with the weight. So I'm surprised you're not a featherweight by now. Yes. I'm going I'm, I'm gonna do the opposite pack y'all doing. Go down and wait and fight these guys. <laughs> um, how... So um, got a chance to... Uh, you know, step away from your last fight. You got hit with hit with a few shots for like the first time in your career. Uh, uh, it's all right. You, I, you I took it, man. I, I, I'm used to this. You know, it's, this this what I'm in the sport for. You know, I'm I'm ready to fight, and I got hit with a couple shots. He actually hit me with an elbow that broke my jaw, and um in the third round. But I just kept fighting. You know, I got the heart, and and I'm, I'm ready to fight and ready to go. I, I kept fighting six rounds, and I want to fight. You know, so it's good. Um. You, you told me you're getting your jaw, I guess, unwired on Tuesday. Uh, what, are you been at least able to do some fitness in the gym? Some yes, I've been working out. I've been, I actually went in a little bit earlier, like two weeks ago. I went in a little bit earlier, and I've been going in the gym, and and it's been good. It's been good. Uh, I've been training. Um, when do you expect that you to start boxing training again? By um. Probably January, I really go in there and spar and really do everything. Get, let it heal up right. And January, really go in there and probably about you see me back in the ring probably by February or early March. How was, uh, I know you spent a week in Dallas at the uh, Manny Pacquiao fight. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you were in camp with him. How was uh, that experience being around him? You know, I know you've been in some, probably some big fights at the Garden mm -hmm. or whatever. How was that being being that big crowd, just taking that whole thing it was in? Good. It was good seeing all the Filipino fans. They it was great, you know, because they all, they all knew me too now because I was sparring him. So I just, it was great, great environment. It was all friendly. It was great people, you know, so it was it was just a great environment, you know. Any, anything you want to say to the fans? Now you have fans all over the world in closing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just keep watching me. I'm going to be one of the best. I'm definitely training hard to be one of the best. Just keep keep watching me. And I'm, I'm training hard, and I'm going to give you guys a show every time I fight. So just keep, keep looking up for me. Well, I'm going to give you the Courage Award for talking through this interview with that jaw wire. Ah, look, look at it's that. Actually, it's actually making me cringe uh, thinking about it. Glenn, we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.